guys, Rick Damuth at a little town called Cowtown, a business called Cowtown USA, a little town called Cuba, Missouri. County, let's see, where are we? About 45 minutes, an hour west of St. Louis, a uh, couple of hours uh, east of Springfield, about three hours from Branson, Missouri. Anyway, here's what I got to offer today. This is a a very clean, and I'd call it very clean, 2008 all aluminum uh, bison, all aluminum version bison. It is eight wide. It has about a 13, 14 foot short wall with a slide, stainless steel nose. It's kind of a, a buckskin color sides. Full uh, full armor plating down the sides. Got your big nice awning on. Your step on the outside. It's been upgraded to dual hydraulic jacks and the covered nose. And I'm going to walk around here. Want to notice the windows? How massive they are on the sides of this slide out. You never see them like this, guys. The benefit of that is when you go inside you're going to see this has got uh, some pretty high powered fans on the inside so you can open those and use them basically like an attic fan so I guess while I'm on this side we'll talk about also talk about the drop down doors so you can actually drive down the road with this open the horse can't stick his head out if you're short a lot of these latches are up here. This is down here. That's how simple it is to open and close. You have your manger. That'll lock open so you can reach it. There's your landline down in there. Okay, now you've got your traditional locker here, but you've got a hard lock right here. So you can actually go in, lock this door behind you with the deadbolt just like you would your house okay now take these out or leave them in it's got extra blanket bars and storage you have a full stud divider here that is removable there's your pin in it so if you want to take it out you can fully padded there's your pass-through door you're seven six tall so you've got your uh, fully and fully insulated roof there's your two-way roof fence one over each stall Okay, I'll just take around here in the back. You got your rear ramp. Fold this around here. You got what's called 6040. Show you what I'm talking about. 6040 rear doors. So that just means your horse compartment door, your horse door is wider. It's equipped with a 4,000 watt um, owning gas generator. I mean gasoline is ready and available. Propane is a little harder to come by so this makes it pretty simple. The saddle racks are removable and adjustable and the rear tack is collapsible. Your double wall finished here and nice sliding windows with bars over here. Okay divider is spring loaded. I just pulled the handle, came around here to this side. Now here's some things we look at. Wear and tear on these walls. I mean you're pretty hard pressed to tell it's ever had a horse in it. I'm sure it has. You know, yeah, I'll see a place right here. Here's a little place here where I see where horses scratched it. A little place right here. So it does have a few marks. So it has had horses in it. You can look close to see it. Okay. Come around this side. Looks like you're upgraded to 14 ply radial tires. Okay. Now you also have a place here. I think this has a uh, a camper stove with it. So you plug it in right here. Cords go up here, and your your uh, 
fire pits will set here on the side. So you cook right here underneath your awning. Can you imagine the way that's set up? I'll just back up here so you can see. Got a place there by your door if you want to plug in an electric fan or uh, whatever you want to do there. Just step there. So you just can imagine sitting underneath this with your good chairs and your cooking some good barbecued ribs. Ew, that sounds good to me. Now I'm going to take you in here, but before I take you in here, I think to me the first thing that I saw when I walked this door was is how homey. It just, I'll just be honest with you guys, it just, it just felt like I was at home. So I'm going to take you in there and see what you think. I'm just going to stop right here and give you it's your privacy curtain, your nice steps. You know, am I wrong in what I was thinking? There's your your bar and your bar stools. Got your big fridge in it. Duck to AC. Storage right here, flat screen TV there. I'm just kind of giving you a look-see from the door. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take you in. Turn on some lights here. Let's just talk. Okay, I see there's a big hump here. Okay, there is a folding table underneath the bed. That's going to match the interior. What do we got here? We got storage here. Hanging closet. Storage there. Saw shades there. A nice balance there. Hat shelf there in the corner. Storage all the way across. Storage on each side of the bed. And place to plug up your CPA machine. No, it ain't CPA. CPAC. CPAC. Another hat shelf. More storage. And another hanging closet. So two hanging closets. Lights above your bed there that are not turned on. Table underneath the bed. Looks like candlesticks but each side of your bed. Okay, so I'm going to back up here. We're going to show you the entrance right here. What do we got? All your paperwork. Keys. Right here. Places, lots of places for storage. Inside, outside speaker. And a kind of a dead man kill switch right here. I can reach over here. I just turned all the lights off in the camper with that one switch. So you can just go out the door, click that off, and not have to be concerned about your batteries being dead to get home. Okay, here's your all your electronic equipment. That looks like a sound bar to me. It is. Something there from Sony up in there. I'm not much on what to call this stuff, but it's evident it has got it. Swing that around. Watch from the bed. Okay. There's your control for your air conditioner and your ducted furnace. You got a nice screen door here, as you can see. Give you a shot of the bar stool. In fact, I'm just going to pull up here and plunk my hind, tiny hiney down on this. And this is the view you'd have. And then you can sit right here and watch the cooker. Okay. Give you a good look around. Okay, now you're going to see right here, I think this is a pantry. We're fixed to find out together. Not, you know, it's a place to hang more, more duds. But here's the thing, too. If you want to put shelves in here to make a pantry, you can. Or, I guess they did it half and half. Place to hang your duds and then more storage. So we'll show you back here, more storage, more storage. Great big microwave, storage, storage, storage. So I mean you got you got a lot of stuff going on there guys. They're pretty well thought out. And you got access to your storage on this side as well. Alright.
let's lift this up here. A nice three burner stove, one's exceptionally large. Okay, let's go into the bathroom. First thing you notice is it's got a pocket door. So nobody has to step in or out of the way. Okay, I'm going to come around here. Nice vanity. Nice mirror. Okay, step back out of the way here. Frosted glass in your shower. There's your ducted heat there. Nice stool. Ducted heat behind the stool. And more storage. Now, this is removable. Place to hang your hang your clothes or your duds. Don't know where the word dud come in there, but anyway. Then you got a remote generator here. It has 121 hours on it. Fuel tank there. Okay, so let's just see what happens here. We're gonna push the button. <clears throat> this says priming it. Now most of the time you have to prime it twice. So we'll just see if, if this is traditional. It is. Fired up and running. <clears throat> Kinda like that song. Twerk not as many as there was a while ago, but they begin to run it on down the middle. Gulf of Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Hey, you didn't know I was a singer too, did you? You ought to see my dance moves. They are every bit as good as my singing. Amazing. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to take you over here, show you this, that this works. Show it cool. Okay. Your ducted AC went to working immediately. All right, so let's see if I'm smart enough to turn on the radio. Okay. For people who are just doing this as, as a diversion. Oh, well, of course, and there already is. The governing body is the Association okay. of Space Explorers. Radio does and they work. they thinking about this for years. Uh, all right, now I'm going to take you back in the back. Okay, here's the power vents that I was telling you about. Now let me let me show you this. Show you the size windows. These are twice as big or bigger. So you come right here, some way or another. Kind of hard to do this with one hand. Anyway, slide this back, slide this back, and then you come in here. Okay. I guess even while you're cooking, you just manually open this one up to let the heat out. Or you come right to here, open this up, and then reversing fan there, and it's going to pull the pull in the cool air from the outside. So, I mean, that's going to work, and that's going to work up here beside your bed in the evening time. So, you would not, a lot of these places, you would never, not even have to run the air conditioner. Just turn on the attic fan. So, I thought you'd like that. I know that's a pretty simple thing, but I thought you'd like to know the availability of it for your camper. Okay, <clears throat> then we're going to come out here. I'm going to mention this to you. We close the door. So if you're coming at night and you're riding, you deadbolt this behind you. you it's hard to talk with that, air, with that generator running back here, but you deadbolt that behind you and you kick off your dirty, wet clothes, muddy boots in the horse compartment. <clears throat> now I'm gonna show you this too, guys. You're fully insulated in the ceiling two-way roof vents. Now they've added several blanket bars. 
but these will come off if you want to come off. If you think they interfere with you, they will come off. Fully padded, there's a removable stud divider down here on the floor, and the walls are in, good, are in great shape. Anyway, I've said enough about that back there, I guess. Bring you up here. Kind of give you a last look. See, the floor's in great shape. The ceiling's in great shape. Look at the saddle scrolling on this. Isn't that cool? More storage up there as well. <clears throat> Place to hang whatever you want to hang here. Got your real nice chair rail. More hanging there. Anyway, I want to get off here and let you go. Didn't mean to take and tie you up this long, but this is kind of where we're at. Uh, if you have an interest in this, 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. Well, I like this distress look on this couch. And I had that light shining on the couch a while ago. I'll just kind of show you this, that it's, that it's, uh, there is no damage to it. Got your saddle scrolling in here as well. That's pretty cool. I'll just sit on the veranda. No, that ain't what that's called. Couch. I'll just sit here on this couch and just kind of give you a look around here. I mean, just can you see yourself in here? Trail riding, horse showing, whatever you're planning on doing. Be pretty comfortable, guys. Pretty comfortable. Oh, I forgot to mention this couch makes a bed, too. Let's see how hard this is to make. <coughs> well, so much for hard to make. <laughs> pretty simple, wasn't it? So anyway, please give us a call, 573-885-6300, 573-885-6300. Uh, go to our website, CowtownUSAINC.com, CowtownUSAINC.com. I forgot to mention, you, get to, you don't see too many of these with the privacy curtain and stuff on. But this has got it. Then pull across there, so you get the gist of it. Yeah, you don't see that on many of them. 573-885-6300. 573-885-6300. We thank you, and uh, we appreciate your trust and, and working with us. Thank you.